the advanced software allows you to create new customized charts. This enables users to modify the data filters, columns, and formatting of the chart. In this tutorial, you will learn how to create, save, modify, and print a custom chart. To begin, go to the File menu and select New Chart, or click on the New Chart icon on the main toolbar. The Chart Type selection window will now open. You will see a listing of all existing charts, as well as the description for each. The advanced software includes the additional options to add new, add copy, edit, and delete. The add new button will walk you through the new chart generation wizard. The add copy button will allow you to create a copy of an existing chart. The edit button allows you to make modifications to any existing chart, and the delete button will remove the selected chart from the software. In this example, we will create a new chart. The Name and Description dialog will now open. Select the group to save the chart to and enter a name and description. Click Next once the name has been inputted. The Major Filter Items screen will now open. This screen allows you to select the management items or properties that will be used as data filters that you will have to select when creating the chart. Operation is always required and will be selected by default. In this example, we will select Grower, Year, and Products to be used as filters in determining what data will be included in the chart. These filters do not affect the formatting of your chart just the data that will be included in it. Click Finish once all filters have been added. The custom selections for each operation dialog will now open. This screen will allow you to modify the chart type, X and Y axes, and the X axis grouping on a per operation basis. Each chart you create can have its own unique settings for each operation meaning you can highly customize your charts as desired. If you are making a chart for a specific operation, select that operation name using the drop-down and then click the Edit button. The Chart Axes dialog will now open. Select the desired chart type using the drop-down. Select the attribute to be displayed on the Y-axis by clicking the Change button and then OK. Now, select the property to be used on the x-axis by clicking the Change button, making your selection, and then clicking OK. Click Next after making all required selections. The Chart Options dialog allows you to adjust descriptions, legends, and the general chart appearance. After making all desired changes, click Finish. The Chart Title dialog will now open where you can input a name for your chart, modify the color of the title, enable a logo, and select to show the background grid. Click Finish when complete. Click Finish after being returned to the Custom Selections window. You will now be returned to the main Chart Type Selection screen. The name and description of the new chart will now be displayed and is available to run, edit, delete, and even make a copy of. To create your new chart, select the name and click the Next button. Use the data filters that you set up for this chart to select the data you want to include and click Next. Remove any unwanted data sets using the Delete button on the Edit Data Filter Results screen. Click Next to view and make any desired changes to the settings on the Chart Axes screen. Click Next to proceed to the Axes and Data Label Selection screen. This dialog will allow you to modify the colors and labels that will be displayed in the resulting graph. Click Next after making any desired changes. The Chart Options dialog will now open where you can modify the title, color, labels, and grids before clicking Finish. 
the finished graph will now be displayed in the main window of your software. This chart can be modified using the Edit Chart Filter and Edit Chart Options tools. You can print this chart to your default printer, to the software PDF printer, or even choose to save it as an image file. You have now learned how to create, edit, generate, and print a custom chart. Please review the other tutorials to learn how to utilize other key features of the software.